What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is Wednesday the 16th of January, got confirmed us to go through as well as the potential rumours. So just before we get started, if you could show your support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome, greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notifications next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in that description box. Our current schedule every day at 8am UK time It's a brand new transfer video. And finally, in the comment section below, if you could add anything to FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, what would it be and why? Right then, let's jump into the very first player of the day and it's going to be a confirmed deal, that's Steven Corker. He joined Alanya Sport in Turkey on a free transfer after leaving Dundee. And he go back a couple of years ago and was playing for Liverpool on loan. Although he's a defender, he never actually played in defence. He was always subbed on as a striker by Jurgen Klopp. The second player of the day is going to be Alan Judge joining Ipswich Town, that's from Brentford, and it's a deal until the end of the season for undisclosed fee. Ricardo Goulart has joined Palmeiras in Brazil from Guangzhou Evergrande in the Chinese Super League, and that's a loan until the end of December 2019. A player non FIFA 19 ultimate team called Junior Traore has joined Fiorentina from Empoli at a 12 million euro fee. Fiorentina were also trying to sign Obiang from West Ham, but apparently West Ham now are saying that they can't sell him basically until they find a replacement for him. Initially, it was supposed to be John Joe Shelby, but Newcastle, they said no. The first rumour of the day is according to Yorkshire Evening Post, and they're saying Kiko Casilla has travelled to England for a medical of Leeds United. The Real Madrid goalkeeper did miss training yesterday ahead of a proposed move to the championship side. I haven't seen how much Leeds will be paying for him or if it's a loan deal as of yet, but I imagine if it does happen, this could be announced very, very soon. And next up, we're calling to Diario de Sevilla. They're saying following the arrival of Diego Lanes, Real Betis will look to further strengthen their squad with a loan signing of 21-year-old Inter striker Laturo Martinez. He has struggled for game time so far this season with Inter and could be allowed to make a temporary switch in a bid to impress Luciano Spalletti and to also regain match sharpness. Now there is speculation regarding Icardi potentially leaving Inter at some point and if he does leave, Martez will become the main striker. And next up according to various different sources, Liverpool are rumoured to be interested in Porto defender Eden Militao. He is a very, very versatile player because he can play as a right back, as a CDM or as a centre back and I'm pretty sure so far this season for Porto, it has been as a central defender. And he has got a release clause currently after joining Porto in the summer worth 50 million euros. Alongside the interest there from Liverpool, you've got Real Madrid, Manchester United and Everton all interested in signing the player. Apparently he wants regular first team football and guaranteed first team football and he prefers a move to England. West Ham striker Javier Hernandez has agreed personal terms with La Liga side Valencia. But the Hammers are putting a stop to any possible move according to Marker in Spain. Valencia are looking for a new striker because obviously Batshuayi has gone back to Chelsea after Valencia cut the loan deal short. So Hernandez is a goal scorer, guaranteed goal scorer. But for West Ham, if they sell on Altovic as well, they'll be short up top. And now we have a very interesting one according to the Daily Mail. There's an Arsenal manager Unai Emery is happy to allow German playmaker Meza Ozil, who's 30 now, to leave the club in order to free up funds for two new signings. Ozil is currently Arsenal's highest earning player on £350,000 per week and TMW is saying the German playmaker has been offered to Juventus and Inter. Arsenal already have one player going to Juventus for next season, that's Aaron Ramsey on a free transfer. So Ozil could follow suit and go to Juve as well, but the thing is we've seen so far this season, obviously when he's picked he can't put in a shift, but he's been dropped so often. And Emery did say a couple days ago that this January, Arsenal won't be able to make any permanent transfers, it's only loan deals. RMC Sport are saying Barca are on the trail of Olivier Giroud as Ernesto Valverde looks to strengthen his forward line following the departure of Manir to Sevilla. And just like I mentioned with West Ham a couple seconds ago, that obviously if they sell Arnautovic and Hernandez, they'll have to bring another striker in. Whereas for Chelsea, they're looking to buy a striker and they could be getting rid of Morata, Batshuayi and now even Giroud. And next up, according to L'Equipe in France, they're saying Marseille is still keen on Nice's former Italian striker, Mario Balotelli, but cannot agree a salary with a former Manchester City player. Apparently, he was very close to cancelling his contract with Nice a couple weeks ago and become a free agent, but at this point in time, Marseille will probably have to pay some kind of transfer fee if they can agree personal terms. A story that has been growing over the last couple days is Marco and Altovic and a move away from West Ham. So a couple days ago is a £35 million bid from an unnamed Chinese Super League side and then against Arsenal on the weekend when he got subbed off, he waved goodbye to the fans. 
West Ham were adamant they won't be selling him, I'm pretty sure it even part of the statement as well, but it seems that Shanghai SIPG will now test West Ham's result by raising their bid from 35 mil to 45 mil. And a few other stories are saying that the deal itself could be completed by the end of this week, and in regards to FIFA Ultimate Team, he then linked to Hulk and Oscar. Evening Standard are saying Sevilla have given up on signing Chelsea striker Alvaro Morata as he's too expensive, that's after having an offer worth £40 million rejected. Marca in Spain, however, has said Morata is willing to take a pay cut to join Atletico Madrid, who need to sell a player first to bring in the former Real Madrid man. Now, the only Atletico Madrid rumour I've seen as of late is pre Diego Godin going to Inter Milan in a free transfer in the summer. Other than that, I can't think of any. And now we have got PSG striker Edinson Cavani, and recently in an interview with RMC, he has admitted that he's considering a return to Uruguay. And the quote does say, For 13 years now, I've been far away in Europe. Apparently three teams are interested in him currently being Chelsea, Atletico Madrid as former team Napoli, but judging by a quote, he might not move to any of those instead, go back to Uruguay. Barcelona are interested in Christian Stuani to add depth to the club's attack, that's according to Marca. The club is in search for another forward to back up Luis Suarez just in case he gets injured, and with them selling Manir, they gotta bring a striker in in January. He is currently the third top goalscorer in La Liga this season, with 12 goals so far. And at 32 years old, he's experienced enough to come in straight away and contribute. And now we have got a confirmed one, but it's not a transfer away, it's actually Petr Cech announcing his retirement. He's announced via his social media that at the end of the current season, he'll be retiring, that's after winning every possible trophy while playing in England. And fair play to him, he's one of the best goalkeepers the Premier League has ever seen. Obviously, the last few seasons hasn't really gone to plan for him, but at Chelsea, in his prime, he was next level. Next up, according to RMC, the SM Belgian international striker Michi Batshuayi has informed Chelsea representatives of his desire to move to AS Monaco on loan. It'll be until the end of the current season after his year-long loan at Valencia was cut short. But the Blues have been hit with such a large volume of offers, a delay in giving it all clear. So far, there are bids from AS Monaco on loan for the rest of the season, as I mentioned before. Fiorentina in the Serie A, they were alone with no option to buy. Napoli also alone, but with an option to buy. And Everton for a permanent. Now, I'm not sure whether Chelsea do have intent to get rid of him already um, on a permanent basis, because Everton will definitely do that. Whereas other three, I'm not too sure in the January window. Maybe Napoli would in the summer because they have an option to buy. Um, but yeah, Monaco, apparently according to RMC, they are still favourites. And another Chelsea rumour today with a player potentially leaving the club is it going to be according to the Telegraph. They said Chelsea will demand £100 million if Belgian playmaker Eden Hazard tells a club he wants to join Real Madrid. Real Madrid are said to be interested in signing both Hazard and Christian Eriksen as a club looks to rebuild following the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo. And they have been massively off the pace so far this season. And it's understandable why you lose one of the best players of all time um, from your squad, but they never really replaced him. And I get they do want to sign Hazard and Eriksen, but you, you would have thought that at some point last summer, they'd have done it back then. According to TalkSport, Gonzalo Higuain has handed in a formal transfer request to Juventus. The striker has been on loan at AC Milan this season, but is desperate to force through a move to Chelsea to link back up with Mauricio Sarri. You've got to assume this transfer is very close now, because the other day in a press conference, Gattuso did say that Higuain, he's made his mind up and he wants to go to Chelsea, basically. And with Batshuayi coming back and Morata potentially leaving, they need to replace them. And it's safe to say that Chelsea have been the most active team so far in this January window. They've brought in Christian Pulisic ahead of next season, uh, but loaning back to Borussia Dortmund. They've sold Cesc Fabregas to Monaco, and apparently replacing him with Paradise from Zenit. They could be bringing in Higuain or Callum Wilson, and they might be getting rid of Batshuayi and Morata. And now we have got three confirmed deals. And first up, we've got Ryan Babel making a return to the Premier League, joining Fulham. It's from Besiktas, and it's actually an undisclosed fee on a six-month deal. At first, it seemed to be a loan deal, but now it's a permanent basis on a short-term contract. A midfielder that featured in yesterday's episode is Gobi Kutska, and as all official, he's joined Palmer in the Serie A from Trabzonspor in Turkey for a 4.7 million euro fee. And now we have a deal that went through in the summer, being Paulinho going to Guangzhou Evergrande or returning to them from Barcelona. And Barca confirmed yesterday that Guangzhou Evergrande have activated their buyout clause for Paulinho ahead of schedule, as for 50 million euros. It was never really in doubt they had made a return to the CSL on a permanent basis, and uh, it's been confirmed by both teams now, and he's officially a Guangzhou Evergrande player permanently again. But that, guys, is going to be it for this video. So as always, if you enjoyed it and enjoyed transfers, make sure to show your support by leaving a like rating, and be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. 
If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notifications next to it to never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box. Current schedule every day at 8am UK times a brand new transfer video. And I know by the way this video right now is currently uploaded at 12. That's because my internet was down. And finally in the comment section below, if you could add one thing to FIFA 20, what would it be and why? Let me know down below. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.